Yellow, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in my video series, Ask an Astrologer. Dara, ask about Saturn and Capricorn conjunct Mars in the 8th house. All righty, well, let's get into this. So, Saturn, Capricorn, structures, boundaries, knowing what's yours and what's not yours. Eighth house is all that area where you're kind of learning to kind of let go of the boundaries of life, merge with other people, let go into the, so to speak, truth behind the fact that there is no boundaries between us. And so it's like on some levels, I'm doing a little bit of a Gemini double talk here in the sense that, you know, I'm talking about Saturn boundaries in the eighth house, no boundaries. And then we enter Mars into the picture. Mars is where we need to assert our needs, where we need to take appropriate action, where we need to have the courage to take appropriate action. And so then I want to kind of step back a little bit. I want to talk about the fact that our souls incarnate into our birth charts because that's what we need to learn to get where we're going. So the eighth house fundamental desire is connection to the truth, to the reality, to the oneness of all of us. But fundamentally, connection requires two people. And fundamentally, one of those people is you. And so connection cannot be forced. Connection is only available when both people feel safe enough to connect. And this is where I want to kind of jump off into this because that Saturn and Capricorn, that Mars and Capricorn, I'm presuming in the eighth house, is wanting you to set up the structures so that you can connect. But really what the structures are is so you can feel safe enough to connect. Commitment is a big one here. You know, and so many people want to dive into the eighth house and think of it as kind of a fun adventure. But in reality, the true meaning of the eighth house is this long lifetime, multiple lifetime commitment to being there so that the other person can open up past their fears. And with a placement like yours, we're really kind of emphasizing this. So commitment is your friend. Commitment requires two things. One, two people. And two, two people who are capable of committing. And as you dive into the eighth house, commitment is your friend. And so much of it is, it's also, it's kind of like, what keeps you safe enough to open up to this oneness of the eighth house? What kind of structures do you need? What kind of physical reality? What kind of effort over a long period of time? What kind of maturity do you need? Because that's what this is really talking about. It's the maturity, the courage. Also, the Mars wants you to take action. And the other thing about Mars is Mars kind of is yes, no. And so often when people get in relationship, it's like, I guess so. That'll work for me. But the reality with Mars is that there's a very limited amount of yes. I mean, excuse me. There's a very limited amount of maybe, I guess so. Mars is definitive. Yes or no. It's either yes, I want that, or no, I don't want that. And so as you merge with another person, very likely I suspect that from a karmic perspective, from an early childhood habits, from a, a past life habits, you understand how to kind of lose yourself in connecting with others. But you don't know how to kind of connect into others and not lose your own needs and your own boundaries, so to speak. And this is what this placement is asking you to kind of accomplish. Connect in with others, but not lose yourself. Still have boundaries, still being able to assert your will. No, that doesn't work for me. And that Capricorn there, that Saturn's there, is to attract someone that can handle that. It's like, can you handle me saying no and still be in relationship with me? Can you handle me asserting my needs and still being in relationship with me? This is important questions for you. All right, I hope you like this video. Please click like and subscribe. Have a spectacular day.